is not our music. Hallelujah. Welcome. Sway your sway, but you get to, to the master's the touch. Worship, worship center. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, turn that yes, up. Lord, My worship is for real. Hallelujah. Leave here tonight worshiping the Lord. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord. How many know he never does anything else? Thank you. He's always done that. He's worthy of all the worship. Thank you. Lord. Because of who he is. Thank you. Father. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Thank you, 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My worship, good God Almighty, is for real. You know, I've heard that song so many times, but for some reason, this morning, hallelujah, it just speaks a whole new realm in that message. My worship is for real. And if you listen to the message behind that, it was saying, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know my testimony. Good God Almighty. And the reason they could say my worship is for real is because once you look back and you see where you came from, you know it was nothing but God. Good God Almighty that brought you through. So, so that's why even in the midst, hallelujah, of your troubles, of your circumstances, you can, you can stand up and say my worship is for real because you know, hallelujah, he will never leave you nor forsake you and you know that he's always with you. That's why you can say my worship, hallelujah, hallelujah, you thank him for bringing you through. You thank him for all he's done. You thank him for even what he's doing. Hallelujah. And you don't see it. For the word says we walk by faith. Good God Almighty. And not, hallelujah, hallelujah, not by sight. Good God Almighty. My worship. Woo. Does anybody here today got some real, Hallelujah. real worship? Not, not fake where you just stand up and go as the preacher go, but yes. your worship, yes. good God Almighty, is for real. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. Glory, God, glory, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we thank all of those that are here this morning uh, for joining us. We thank those that may be online. But more importantly, we thank the Holy Spirit for showing up and showing out this morning. My God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we will continue with this morning's service. We're going to have... My rib come up. <laughs> Lady Mon, I like that. I like that. That's my rib coming up. Lord, I thank you. She's going to come and give this morning scripture, prayer, announcements, a Monicaism, and the tithes and offering. Boy, that girl do it all, don't she? <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're going to have Lady Monica to come, and then we will continue on with the rest of the service. Good God Almighty. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You know, Lady Monica do it all. Yeah. <laughs> Everything behind scenes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Is your worship is for real? Is your worship for real? Or are you just playing church, you know? It's something about when you've been through some stuff and God has delivered you or delivering you Jesus, from Jesus, Jesus. the cares of the world or from mm, your struggle, mm, from those strongholds. Mm, and you just have to know that your worship is for real. Yes, sir. You know, yes, that sir. speaks so, so hard in my, my spirit because I know I've been through some stuff and mm. God has delivered me. And, and I used to, when I was younger, you know, raise my hand. And thank God and didn't realize what I was really thanking him for. Right, and right. But now my worship is for real. And Jesus, I thank you, God, Jesus, for your Jesus. presence in my life. Um, if you guys would get your Bibles out, we are going to um, read from he Hebrews chapter 10. All right. And starting at the first verse. And it reads as follow. Since the law has, on has only a shadow of good things to come. And not the reality itself of those things. It can never perfect the worshipers by the same sacrifice they continue to offer year after year. Otherwise, wouldn't they have to stop being offered? 
since the wor worshipers purify once and for all would no longer have any consciousness of sin. But in the sacrifice, there is a reminder of sin year after year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sin. Therefore, as he was coming into the world, he said, you did not desire the sacrifice and offering, but you prepared your body for me. You did not delight in a whole burnt offering and sin offering. Then I said, see, it is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, O God. I read from you um, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 1 through 7. And God bless the readers and the Amen. hearers. Amen. And now we will stand for our prayer. If everyone could stand up for me. You know, you guys should already be on your feet and be ready to lift your hands and just come to the altar. God, we come to you, God, just saying thank you, God, for this day. Father, thank you for another day to be in your worship, God. I just thank you, God, for this hour. Father God, we come to you at this altar, God, laying all our cares, laying all our burdens, God, because our worship is for real, God. And Father God, I just ask, God, that you will settle here in this place, God. You know the what each and every one of us need yeah. in this at this moment at That's this so. appointed time god we ask god that the spirit in this place loose those chains Hallelujah. of brokenness god loose Hallelujah. those chains Hallelujah. of failure god loose yeah. those chains Touch. of sickness god loose Thank those you. chains Thank of loneliness god loose those chains of unsuccess movements god we just lay them at the altar at your feet, God. And we just want to thank you, God, for your son, God. Your son that you sacrificed for us, God, for this moment, God. We would not be able to do this walk without you, God. So, God, we just thank you, God, for your presence, God, right now, God. And we ask, God, that you would bless this service, God. Let it go out to those that have the need, God. Yes. Have the need to hear your word, God. Yes. Who, Father, who is lost and don't know what the word looks like, God. I pray at this moment, God, in this hour, God, yes. that the yes. word that's going to be spoken, that it bless your people, God. That you decrease past the slaughter, God, and increase you in his in his in his um, word, God, in his in his mind, God, in his heart, God. That the words that come out of his mouth are of you, God. Father, I just thank you for this moment, God. Just thank you, Father, for those that are present here, Father. And, Father, I ask, God, that you continue covering those that are lonely, God, covering those that are bereaving, God. Father, God, we went to a funeral yesterday where a mother was funeralized, leaving her children, God. I pray for peace in that home, God. Give them peace, God. They don't understand, God, but, God, Father, God, I pray that they are, you're present in their life, God, that they can seek you in their sorrow, Lord. I pray for all those that have lost a loved one, God. And I pray that, God, that they find you, God, in that midst of loneliness and that midst of loss, God. I just thank you, Father, for your presence, God. Just thank you for who you are, God. I thank you for the peace that you set, Father, in this place, God. When we first walked in, Father, it was a little unsteady, Father, but I thank you, Holy Spirit, for settling here, God. Thank you for having your way, Father. And I just, we give this service to you, Father. We ask this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to have our morning announcement. So, Guess what we just started doing on Bible study this went Thursday? We started studying about the fruits of the Spirit. Oh my God. So my God. if you missed, Pastor Sada, what was that first fruit that we talked about? We actually laid the foundation. So we laid the foundation the the about the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. So this will be a month to two month long series. Yes. Just look forward to it. And our Bible study is every Thursday, second and fourth Thursday, here at 3331 Blue Ridge Road, 7 o'clock, with Pastor Slaughter. And don't forget, on the first and um, third Thursday, we have our couples retreat. 
Now, last couple's retreat was about the men. And if you missed it, please go back and look at it. It was such a great message. Um, not just for men to listen to, but for women. Amen. Because you know Amen. what? Women, we don't have it figured out about men. And, you know, sometimes we don't listen because we're always talking. <laughs> so I think if we take the time to allow the men to speak, you know, and listen to what they're saying, we they may not be saying what we want to hear, but they're saying something. So um, such a good word. So if you guys would go back and listen to that message, if you can go back on Facebook and YouTube, you can go back and look at look at that message and look forward to this couple's retreat this Thursday at 7 o'clock. And um, just a reminder to continue to follow us on Twitter at TMTWC1 and Facebook at TMTWC and subscribe to our YouTube channel at TMTWC and our Instagram at TMTWC99 is the month that the church was birthed. And you can always follow us on our um, website at TMTWC.org. Okay, I pray that you all are obedient to the announcements. And don't forget our Sunday morning worship here every Sunday at 8.30 where Pastor John T. Slaughter is the pastor here at the Master's Touch Worship Center. So now I've been doing a lot of talking. And this part of the service that you all can now participate in. So if everyone would get all your coins, your dollars, your checks, your check, your cards, your phone in hand. So everybody, this is something for everybody. So everybody, even the millennials can do this because we have Cash App. And we, um, you can cash app at TMTWC, or you can um, give on our Giveify or Tidely. Or if you're here, Pastor Slaughter got the bucket. Because we have two gentlemen here that just were sitting here and not getting the bucket ready. So God is always ready. We just thank you, God. And we just pray that you're obedient to the, um, to the giving. And if you would stand... And you go out to your outside of you. So if you're standing on my left, you're going to go right. If you're standing on my right, you're going to go left. All right now. All right. And just, um, just want you guys to continue keeping us in your prayer as we're moving um, to go out. We'll be, Pastor Slaughter and I will be going out evangelizing soon. So look for us. And tell your friends about the Master's Touch Worship Center and tell them to come visit, stop by, uh, or stop by our website to look to see what we got going on here. God is doing great things here. Amen. And thank you guys for being obedient in the offering. We're going to lift the offering up to you, God. If everyone would stand, please. Father God, we just thank you, God, for the offering that was taken up today, God. We thank those that gave God and those that had the desire but did not have the means, Father. And we pray that this offering is used for your glory to uplift your kingdom and bless your people, God. And we thank you for the offering. And in your name, Jesus, amen. Amen. Okay, so now for the Monica-ism. All, All right. right. <laughs> All right. So, you're not God. You don't have all the answers. Mm. You can't do everything. My God. If you're struggling to find a balance in your life, mm. that's one admission. You can transform everything through God's word. Mm. So let us celebrate the power of God's working through our limitations. So we are limited as people um, in the things that we can do. Mm. And our minds go out. Mm. Because our minds will take us places where God have, have no intentions for us to go. Girl, so remember that when God, you God. feel struggle in your life, you mm. feel inadequacy in your life, if you feel shortcomings in your life, you take it to God in prayer. Mm. You know, I was listening to a mm. message by Charles Stanley, and he was talking about solitude. And sometimes we need to block out the noise. 
in our lives. We need to turn off our phones. We need to stop watching TV. We need to stop listening to the music and spend some time with God. And I've learned that when I pray, I don't wait to hear what God is saying to me. I'm just going to him and going, okay, God, amen, and then getting up and walking away. Well, I'm learning that I need to sit there in solitude and wait. And sometimes he's talking to me, but I'm too busy thinking about where I got to be, what I got to do, word, what time I have word. to be there. So let's celebrate the power of God working through our limitations because we are limited to what we are able to do. But God is almighty and can do all things. So. That's my Monica, is it? Hey, <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah. And the next voice you'll be hearing is Pastor Slaughter. And thank you. And I pray that everyone is obedient to the announcements. And thank you for coming. Amen. Amen. Good gracious, baby. Good word. Good word. Amen. Amen. Oh, my good great Monica, is it, baby? Awesome, 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 awesome. So uh, thank God, man, for uh, Lady Monica, man, and all she does. And she's sitting there. She's on the music. She's on the Internet. She's making sure everything is flowing, making sure everybody has what they need. Just never stops. And, that, and that's just at church. That's not even counting at the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I... Celebrate my rib and thank God for my rib. My rib. <laughs> not yours, not yours. That fit right here. Hallelujah. 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 So um, we have a song of yes. preparation. Amen. And then after that, we will get straight into the word. This is not our music. This is not our music. Amen.
Lee. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this time. God, we thank you, Father, for allowing us to come as one body in you, God, to worship your holy name. Set the atmosphere, Father. Let your spirit break out even right now. Prepare the hearts and the minds of these, your people, to receive the word, hallelujah, that you have set forth to give. Yeah. God, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes. God, we ask that you would please, a Father, decrease me yes. and allow your Holy Spirit to speak, to preach, to read, and to think. As I sit back and marvel, hallelujah, good God Almighty, at what you do. Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you and we bless your name. Yes. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. And everybody said amen, 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 amen. So this morning, if we could turn into our Bibles to Luke uh, 22. And we're going to read verses 1 through 6. Luke 22, 1 through 6. And it says, Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, meaning Jesus, for they feared the people. Verse 3 says, Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him, meaning Jesus, unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money, and he promised and sought an opportunity to betray him, meaning Jesus, unto them in the absence of the multitude. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we're going to concentrate on that third verse, which says, Then entered Satan into Judas, surname Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve, meaning Judas was a disciple. My God. And the title that I want to use this morning, it's in there. <laughs> All right now. It's, it's in there. Ooh, Jesus. You, it's in there. It's in there. I remember growing up a long time ago, there was a commercial and it was about a spaghetti sauce named Pregu. And their theme was Pregu. It's in there. Meaning they were saying that out of all the other tomato sauces and spaghetti sauces, with Pregu, it's in there. Meaning everything you need, you don't need to add wow. nothing. It's all, it's in there in prayer group. And, and beloved, this morning, I, I would ask that you would give me some time, Lord Jesus, whoo, to, to talk to you a few moments about the topic. It's in there. It's in there. So, so as we see from the text, we're, we're, we're talking about, we're at a place where they're getting ready for the Passover, a holy time, a celebration. And, and as they're getting ready for the Passover, that verse 3 in Luke 22 says, Then entered Satan, good God Almighty, into Judas, surname Iscariot, being of the number 12, and, and, and beloved, I, I, I believe that a lot of people have just assumed that Judas of the disciples was Satan. 
I, I, I believe a lot of people have just passed him off and have said, well, his name is Judas. So he must be Satan. He must have been the devil. And he must have been a devil from the beginning in walking with Christ. But beloved, this morning, I want to bid to you that Judas, number one, he was chosen by Jesus out of all the men that Jesus had to choose from. He only chose 12 to help him spread the gospel that he was spreading. So, beloved, he took the time and had Judas picked out from among all the other men that he could have chosen. So, beloved, and, and then also, Judas was chose as the treasurer of the group. He handled the money. He handled the finances. So he had a gift in him that he could handle money. All right? So, so as we look at Judas, we, we need to look at Judas spent three years with Jesus. Um, hearing him preach and teach the gospel. Uh, he, 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 he saw all types of miracles that Jesus did. He, he, he saw the blind being able to see. He, he saw lepers being healed. He, he saw the, the paralyzed being able to walk. He, he, he was even there when the woman with the issue of blood came and, and, and just touched the hem of his, of his garment. Judas was there all this time. He, he was even there when the, the man with the withered hand, hallelujah, was, was, was healed. He, 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 he was there when, when demons, hallelujah, was, was cast out of men and women. Judas, Judas, the, the disciple, the, the, the one that walked with Jesus, he, he, he was there and, and saw, saw it all. But one of the things, beloved, that, that, that we have to realize about Judas is that he never called him Lord or addressed the deity of Jesus. He, he only called him rabbi, which acknowledged him as teacher. Uh, if even in, in Rome and in, in John 6 and 68 uh, says, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou has the words of eternal life. So, so, so beloved, what my, my point that I'm getting to is even though Judas was chosen by Jesus and, and Judas followed Jesus and saw the miracles and, and came to the churches and did all these things. He was around Jesus, but Jesus was not in him. He, he, he was going through the motions. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. He, he was going through the motions of, of coming to church and, and sitting in the front row and, 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 and hearing the, the, the sermons and, and, and hearing the preaching and, and seeing miracles happen and, and, and even in taking part in the ministry. But, but he, he refused to acknowledge the power thereof. He, he called him rabbi. Which, which, which everybody around Jesus who, who, who acknowledged him, just acknowledged him as a teacher. But, 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 but it was Peter, Peter, who, who said, Lord, you, you, you are the Christ, the, the, the Son, good God Almighty, of the living God. Well, where shall we go? Who, who else has the answers that we need? So, 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 so Judas was one 
that was going through the most. He was chosen. Right Good God Almighty. He was, he was chosen. He, he, he walked the walk. He, he, he talked. But for some reason, he did not allow the gospel of Jesus Christ to settle in his heart. He, oh he, 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 he went to church. He, he did all these things. But for some reason, he didn't let him in his heart. So, 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 so what was Judas's issue? What, what, what was the it that was in Judas that kept him from allowing a, a full pledge to Christ and, and, and to totally give his life to Jesus? What was it that it? What was that it? That was in Judas. If, if you turn to John 12, verses 1 through 6, it says, Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which he had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There were made him a supper, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them, that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment and sprinkled very costly and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. And then verse 4, y'all look at this. Then saith one of the disciples, Judas, son of Simon, which should eventually betray him. He said, why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Then he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. So, beloved, what we're looking at is that Judas was looking at something that was done and he tried to sound holy. He tried to sound like he cared. He, he tried to, to look like. He was saved and, and, and say, why are you taking all of this ointment and wasting it to rub Jesus' feet when we could sell it for the poor? And, and, and that sounds good. But beloved, as the Bible says, not that he cared for the poor, but he was a thief. So, so, so what that means is that he had something in his heart that, that he chose to hold on to and, and, and not give that to Jesus. So, so what he did is, is that he walked around with a limp. He, he, he couldn't walk straight because he had that, that desire in him for money. He, he, that desire, it, it drove him. It, it, it led his life. It, it, it made decisions for him. It, it, it allowed him to, to, to move in, in the way that he wanted to move, opposed to allowing the word of Jesus and what he saw and what he was around in him. He chose to hold on oh yes. to that it, yes. hallelujah, that was in him. Yes. And, and beloved, it was the it, hallelujah, that was in Judas that he chose to hold on to. That, that at this point made him make the comment, don't waste that perfume on Jesus' feet. We can sell it and give it to the poor. But that's not where his heart is. That's what he sounded like. That's, that's what he said. That's what it looked like. But his heart. Good God Almighty. His heart wasn't in the right place. His, it, it, it was his heart 
that, that led him to turn over Jesus to the scribes and the Pharisees. See, if, if we read in the text, they was going to pay Judas money, hallelujah, to turn him over. So, 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 beloved, as we look here, Judas wasn't a bad dude. He, he was chosen by Christ. He was one of the 12. He, he saw all the things that all the rest of the 12 saw, but he had a, it, good God Almighty, that was in him that drove him to do things that were not of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he was, he was a disciple. Hallelujah. Who, who, who had an it. Good God. I, I hope y'all feeling what I'm saying because I'm about to bow down your alley. He, he, he had an it that was in him that, that, that helped him make his decisions. That, 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 that drove him to, 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 to be led in the direction that he wanted to go. He, he, he had a choice that he could make. He, he could have chose to follow Jesus. He, he could have chose to, to do the things of Christ. But that it that was in him, that, that love of money, that, that love of things led him to do things that, that was not of Christ that that did not become of the disciple or of the Christian that he was told to that he was said to be so 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 beloved as we look at the text and and we see where we are we see Judas he he was around Jesus he he was chosen he was picked out from many to be a part of the select 12, but he still had an it that was in him that kept him from doing what he needed to do. And beloved, my question to you is, is what is your it? What Good is your God Almighty. What is the it? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That is in you, my hallelujah. God, God, that, 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 that makes your decisions in life. That, that, that leads you down the path that, that you don't want to take. For, for, for Paul said, that what I want to do, hallelujah. I, I don't do, but, but I find myself doing the things that, that I don't oh want to do. Oh Paul was talking about the end. Hallelujah. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Hey, God, that it that is in you. Well, beloved, I, I know you're sanctified. I know you're holy. I know you're saved. I, I know you show up at every service and, and you shout and you and you run around and you praise him. And I even know that your worship, hallelujah, is for real. Glory God. But beloved, let me tell you, everybody, hallelujah, everybody got an it, good God Almighty, that is in them. Hallelujah. For, for Galatians 5, 19 through 21 says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seductions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revealings, and such of the like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in the past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So, beloved, I don't know what your it is, but all I do know is that everybody, good God Almighty, everybody from time to time deals with that it. Good God. That is in you. Hallelujah. Why is that it in us? Well, it's because you got a flesh uniform on. And as long as you have that flesh uniform, you need to be prepared yes. to fight yes. that it. Good God Almighty. 
that's in you. Oh, I wish I had a few mics and I could hand them around and, and just see what you, what's your it? Well, what's the it that's in you? What's your it? Would you share? Would you share your it on this morning? Or is your it something that only comes out when you by yourself? It, 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 does your it only deal with you when, when you in, 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 in the dark place? Does your it come out when, when, when somebody cuts you off and, and you're driving down the street? Hallelujah. Does your it come out when, when, when you get upset? What the question that I want to ask this morning is what is the it? Hallelujah. That's in you. Because, beloved, I'm going to tell you, it's so easy to get caught up and come in the church. It's so easy to get caught up and reading the word. It's, it's so easy to get caught up and, and preaching powerful sermons and, and singing songs and, until the people fall out and, and laying hands on people and they falling out and being healed and, and, and it's so easy to get caught up and, and going through the motions and doing the works of God but beloved we, we must remember that there is still an it good God Almighty that is in you hallelujah some of y'all looking at me strange some of y'all looking at me like, well, well, pastor, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, and, and, and God has me, and I'm holy, and I don't do no wrong. Where well, the Bible says you're a liar, and the truth ain't in you. Because everybody, everybody has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me, let, let me, let me just read this to you, what Paul said in, in Romans 7, 23. Oh, Jesus. He said, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which works in my members. Good God Almighty. Beloved, my, 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 my ploy to you this morning is to let you know that the it that is in you is a law that is in your body that is warring against your mind. That's what happened to Judas. Judas was trying to fight that it that was in him that was the love of money. All he wanted was money. That's all he could see. So everything around his ministry, his, his, his looking at Christ, his walk as a disciple... Everything surrounded that war that was going on in him, which was money. Mm -hmm. And it was the war that Paul talks about that war against his mind. When he saw Jesus uh, getting the, the perfume wiped on his feet, the, he, he, the, one part of his mind was saying, that's Jesus. He needs that. She's just worshiping him. Allow her to worship him. Matter of fact, I need to start worshiping him. And then the other side of his mind was like, look at that oil. That's money. That's money that we could have. That's money that we could do. We could do some other stuff with money. He was warring in him. What is the war of the it that's in your mind? What is warring in your mind that is keeping you from walking holy, hallelujah, and acceptable, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Glory, God. Glory, God. Hallelujah. Well, beloved, since we, we've talked about the it, we, 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 we've talked about Judas and his it, beloved, and we've talked about your it, hallelujah. So, so now, since we know that everybody has an it, how do we fight this it? How do we deal with this it? Well, the first thing that you need to do, sometimes you need to realize is when that it comes, sometimes you have to run from yourself. Hallelujah. Sometimes you ain't strong enough to fight it. Sometimes you, you don't have time to pray. Sometimes you just got to run. Hallelujah. From your it. Talk to us, Joseph. 
Genesis 39, 11, and 12 says, And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And there was none of the men of the house within. And she caught him by his garment saying, Lie with me, Joseph. And he left his garment in her hand and fled to get him out. Joseph was, was about to be seduced by this woman. And he could have stayed. He could have said, I'm strong enough. I'm a man of God. God got favor on me. God can help me. God stand up in me. He could have called on Jesus. But Joseph said, uh-uh, I need to run, hallelujah, from this situation. Beloved, let me tell you, there is some times in your life where you can't stand and, and allow your flesh to be subjected to certain things. Hallelujah. There's some times in your life where you just need to pick up and run, hallelujah, from the situation. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know because I battled with pornography. There's some movies that I just don't watch. My wife will tell you, there's some commercials that I just need to turn my head from. Why? Because there's no use to me sitting up there saying, I'm a preacher, I'm a pastor, I'm saved, and I'm of a sound mind. I can look at this, and I can handle that. But beloved, let me tell you, every time you look at that, it's a seed. That's planted. You, 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 you may not have to deal with that it right then. But it's a seed that's planted. And then there's another seed. And then another seed. And after a while so many seeds get planted. All it takes is that one little thing to happen. And then what you do. That it has taken over you. And now is leading your life. Glory be to God. But well, beloved, let me tell you, you need to set parameters around your it. I don't know what your it is, but you know what it is. I know you're sitting there holy. I know you're clapping your hands. I know you're praising God, but that it. God Almighty. Hallelujah. It's still in you. And beloved, let me tell you, sometimes you can't fight that it. Because it's get, get too strong for you. Yeah. It, it gets to call in your name. And you can't handle it. And you just got to run sometime. Hallelujah. From that end. Glory God. Glory. And beloved, what is the second thing? Hallelujah. That you have to do with that end. Well, sometimes in that end, you just have to say, Lord, not my will. Hallelujah. But thy will be done. Hallelujah. See, th this is when, when the end is small and it's just getting started and it's bothering you and it's touching you and it starts talking to you and telling you different, different things. Your yo, it may be alcohol. Your it may be smoking weed. Your it may be sex. Your it may be pride. See, it ain't got to be just all the things that, that a man does in his flesh. You, you, your it could be you you want that house you got a house and you you satisfied but you want the big house next to the Joneses <laughs> you, your it may be you want that promotion be, because you want to be have people look at you you want to be seen amongst men <laughs> your it may be all kind of things I don't know what it is but whatever it is hallelujah once that thing start in your mind, that's when you need to say, Lord, not my will, good God Almighty, but thy will, hallelujah, be done. For if we look at Matthew 26 and 39, when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Oh Nevertheless, not as I will, hallelujah, but as thou will be done. And then if we skip down to 42, he said he went away again a second time and prayed saying, oh, father, if this cup may not pass from me, except I drink it, 
thy will, hallelujah, be done. And then if we skip two more verses, in verse 44, he says, and he left them and went again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Beloved, sometimes you got to pray over and over and over and over on that thing so that it would not take over you. Because, beloved, right here, Jesus was about to go to the cross. And his flesh was starting to rise up in him. And his flesh was starting to, to tell him, oh, you don't want to go through that. Do you know how bad this is going to hurt? Do you know all you're going to have to go through? Do you know all these things you're, 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 you're going to have to deal with? Crown the thorns. And, and beloved, a, a, a lot of people think, well, that was Jesus. He, 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 he could deal with that. No. Jesus came down to earth with a flesh uniform and felt the same things you felt and was tried in every way that you were tried. So, so, don't, so don't think, oh, that was Jesus. He can handle it. No. That would be just like you going up on the cross Nailed in your hands, mm -hmm. in your feet, thorns through your side, oh thorns on your head, oh bleeding, oh beat to death till the flesh comes out of your back. That's what Jesus was contemplating in the garden. But he said, hallelujah, I, 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 I'm not going to let this it that is in me overcome me. So, Father, not my will, hallelujah. But thy will, thy will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as I come to a close, beloved, and my last point is, is that when you do fall into that it that is in there, you need to be reminded of some things. You, you, you need to be reminded of Philippians 1 and 6, where it says being confident of this very thing. That that which has begun a good work yes. in you will perform it, hallelujah, until the day of Jesus Christ. And then you need to roll to Colossians 2 and 15 where it says, And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing by the cross. Hallelujah. So beloved, no matter what cross that you are on right now, no matter what you're going through, know that God has the final say so. Know that whatever you're dealing with and whatever you're going through, that the blood of Jesus covers a multitude of sin. And, and, and that if you fell down, beloved, get back up again. And know that God will be there for you. See, they thought Satan thought he had Jesus on the cross because he looked like he was hung. He, he looked like he was defeated. He looked like all hope was gone. But on that third day, good third God day. Almighty, God. beloved, wait on the third day. Wait on the third day for your resurrection moment is coming. And, and when he got up, hallelujah, the Bible said that he got up with all, hallelujah, all power in his hand. So, so one moment, it may look like that it has you, but you keep praying. You keep believing. You keep hope alive. And know that your resurrection, hallelujah, moment is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And as I come to an end, Revelations 12 and 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Don't love your life so much that you're not willing to die to yourself through the blood of Jesus. Know that they overcame him by the blood, hallelujah, of the lamb and the word of the testimony. You got to know that you are set free, hallelujah, by the blood of the lamb. And the word of your testimony. Glory God. Don't be ashamed of what God brought you through. Testify about what the Lord has brought you through. And know 
that he that has begun a great work in you shall complete it until the day, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ will come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not our music. This is not our music, but this is our Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody stand up. Ah, oh, God, we thank you today. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you, God, for showing us that it that is in there. But we don't have to be controlled by it. We can overcome it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If, hallelujah, if there be one, if there be one, well, that it that is in you, you, you're tired of it taking over your life. You, you're tired of it directing you and, and, and having you do the things that you don't want to do. And you're tired of that it. We ask that you come. We want to introduce you to the it slayer. We want to introduce you to the it slayer, the, 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 the one that slays the it, that can, that can pull that it out of you and pull it down in the name of Jesus. We ask that you come. Those that need to give their lives to Jesus and not continue to give that it power in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and, and if there be another one, where you, you say, Pastor, I'm saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel your presence, Lord. I feel your presence, God. Thank you, Lord. Hi. Turn it up, baby. Thank you, Lord. There's somebody that's going to hear this. God is not giving up on you. That it that is in you is defeated in the name of Jesus. Stand up right now and seek the salvation of the Lord. For it is in you. But it doesn't have to control you. If there be one, he ain't gave up on you. Everybody got in. Don't just look at everybody and thinking, oh, they saved, they had it all together. No, baby, we all struggle. We all fight this fight. And you can fight that it that's in you. Stand up right now and know that he is the king of kings. Woo! Jesus. And there may be another where you say, Pastor, I hear you, I see you. And I want to join forces with you. I want to be a part of this Master's Church Worship Center. And I want to be in fellowship with you. We ask that you come. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. And we need your gifts to go with our gifts. That we can bless this nation with the gift that he's blessed us with. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you, God, for all you are and all you do. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit wreak havoc in this place. We ask, God, that you, that you would touch each and every person that is under the sound of my voice and that you would grab a hold of the it that is in all of us and allow your Holy Spirit to rule and abide in us. For Father, we know that the it is going to be there, but we also know that you have given us power over every it that is in our lives. So Lord, we today ask you, God, that you would stand up in us let your Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide in us. That you would comfort us and give us the power that we need to overcome and become in the name of Jesus. 
For God, we love you today. We honor you. We, we bless your name and we thank you, God, for your word that you brought forth. Keep us, God. Comfort us. Love us. For God, we honor you and we thank you. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I lift my hands. Lord, baby, you got to play that again. You got to play that Father, we thank you. Thank you, God. Jesus, join us. My God, my God. Join us Thursday, 7 o'clock for our couples retreat. I want to shake everybody's hand. God, we thank you for your presence. We honor you and we worship you, baby. We got anything else we... Thursday, we reminded that. Anything else? No. Nothing. All right. Yeah. Thursday, 7 o'clock, 3331 Blue Ridge Road. As we depart, I want to shake everybody's hand. I pray that something was said today that blessed your heart. I pray that you hold on to this word and know that that it does not have to have the power over you. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Turn it up, baby. We thank you for your presence. Cover us and keep us, Father. Use us for your glory. Give us traveling mercies, Father. Cover us in our homes, on our jobs, in our workplaces, and as we go through the marketplace. We rest and abide in you. For it's in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.